funky, energetic, filled with love. At least that's what we're told this morning. Uh, this is uh, Liz McCoy from the Haines, uh, Humane Society of Tampa Bay, and she's describing our special little guest, Bethany, this morning. But Bethany's been so well behaved she's super since you brought her in. this morning. Uh, Yesterday she was pretty peppy, and today she's a little more on the mellow side. Studio lights can exactly. do that Exactly. She's overwhelmed. Aww. So much She's new adorable, stuff to encounter. Though. Tell us our story. Yeah, so Bethany came to us with her siblings. Um, she was surrendered by her owner um, where it was a home birth where they had had a litter. They had too many other dogs, and oh, so they brought the new okay. litter um, to the Humane Society. What um, mix do we think she So is? we have her listed as a terrier lab mix. Okay. And she's a hefty girl. You can see these are some big feet. Yeah. She's only three months old, so she's going to be a big girl. Um, but yeah, right now she's kind of in love bug mode and just Aww, wants to snuggle down. I love it. And the coloring <laughs> on her, the brindle is beautiful. She's got a beautiful coat with the little white feet and yeah. white muzzle and then the brindled coat. Yeah, she's going to be a beauty. So with puppies, what do you say for families who are looking to adopt? What so do you think would be a good So puppies are great mix? for okay. families. Um, Obviously, you know, if you're looking for your kids to learn how to take care of pets, having them be a little bit on the older side before okay. you take on a, a young animal is always smart. Um, handling them, you know, you always mm -hmm. want to be careful with how you handle them. Um, but they're a really great teaching tool for kids, yeah. um, you know, responsibility mm -hmm. and chores and all those sorts of things that they can just sort of learn and, yeah. and, and know what you need to do to take care of a pet well. And she's ready to go home today? She's ready to go, absolutely. She spayed and or neutered, yep. whatever, she's everything. She's spayed, good she's to got go. her microchip, okay. she's got her vaccines, so she is ready to roll. All right, sounds good. Hey, let's talk about this event you have coming yes, up. Yes, this should be a lot Relatively of fun. Relatively new, puppies. At the disco. Of course. Puppies like disco. <laughs> <laughs> so how does this work? So it's a silent disco. Okay. Um, it's a um, event that's run by our Tampa Tales, which is a networking group uh -huh. for philanthropy. Yeah, yeah they've people been on the show. Yeah, they're a great group of people. They're a fantastic group. Um, they love animals and they love working with animals and igniting the community yeah. around animals. Um, and so they have des devised this event where um, it's at water at the Godfrey. Mm -hmm. uh, you come in, you uh, pay a fee in order to get your headphones, but then you mingle, there's a cash bar, uh, you can listen to the music and dance if you want, you can mingle and Well, and I want to make sure we clarify, so you literally, you put the headphones on and, then and you, you, hear you choose music. your music, right? Or is everybody yeah. listening to the same thing? I forget so how it I works. hear there are three different okay, types that's right. of music okay. that people can listen to throughout the night, but then if you don't, you can just pull your headphones off and then just <laughs> chit-chat with people, but it's not like the loud club music is So the dogs will be, too, will there be dogs there? Yeah, I'm we're assuming taking adoptable animals out to the event so you'll see puppies you'll mm -hmm. listen to some good music hang out with some good friends it should yeah. be a really great time we have a little less than a minute left tell us about what else is going on and how many I, I assume that you guys are full right now and have there's lots of selections other than Bethany too absolutely um, and you know we have a lot of other puppies but we also have a lot of older animals yeah. um, those are always um, those can be a really great fit mm -hmm. for some people um, yeah. I mean puppies and kittens are fantastic and if your family has the space and the time mm -hmm. for a puppy or a kitten that's a great fit um, but sometimes people don't think about adopting an older animal, which yeah. can really be a great way to add somebody to your family mm -hmm. that's um, sort of through that puppy or kitten phase, maybe can stay at home a little yeah. bit longer. Their energy level might be a little bit lower. So um, it's always good for people to sort of know what they're looking for and know what will fit into their lifestyle and consider an older animal sometimes. You know, we're getting into October and the holidays, of course, right around the corner. Is that a busy time for you guys? Or you? It is, um, although we're busy most yeah. of the time, um, but definitely any time where there's a break from school, yeah. um, it is a good time for people to come and adopt because it's an easy time to add to their family. So if you see uh, Bethany, though, this morning, go ahead and get on it and uh, get out. You got out. it. She's not going to last no. very long with this sweet mug. She'll get a home. Well, thank you so much for coming. Oh, it's always my pleasure. Have fun, puppies at the disco. Oh, yeah. Again, we'll put that in info. We appreciate your time this morning. Absolutely. Thank you.